Well, Nevada Senator Dean Heller is explaining his health care votes and taking credit for saving Medicaid in the final so-called skinny repeal bill. Senate race challenger Danny Tarkini, however, said on our program last week, Heller and senators like him are to blame for killing the bill's momentum. So I asked Heller about that earlier this week. I'm not going to respond to everything uh, that uh, he may say about this campaign, but I did exactly what I said I was going to do, and that was to make sure that middle-class families and low-income families had access to health care. And a lot of them had access through uh, Medicaid and Medicaid expansion, and that's why I did that uh, press conference uh, with the governor and said I would not support any legislation that took health care away. Now, Danny may completely disagree with that and may not support low-income families, and he may not support middle-income families and the health care that they have today. But I made that promise, and I kept that commitment. I also eliminated the mandates and some of the taxes uh, through the skinny bill that I said that I supported. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, low-income families, middle-income families have, still have health care. And the reason that they do, and the reason it was uh, eliminated uh, from the skinny bill was because of And uh, no other person, I'm sure there were four or five other uh, expansion states that uh, were with me. Uh, but we even threw votes out there to let the to send messages to the leadership. I was even criticized for an amendment on the floor that only got 10 votes. Purpose of those 10 votes is to send a message to our leadership that they didn't have uh, the votes necessary in order to include Medicaid. And we sent the exact message we want to. Like I said, I know we were criticized because people don't understand the process. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is, is that in the skinny bill, uh, Medicaid uh, Medicaid expansion, these low-income families have the health care that, uh, that they need. On the Graham Cassidy. All right, so when you look beyond that then, the Graham Cassidy Heller Block Grant bill, I think you started to hear me ask him about that. So I asked him what was that exactly was going to be and when it would be introduced. Hmm. Once we have 50 votes, health care will come up again. Um, and so if you hear Washington, D.C. talking about health care, it's because we found that 50th vote. And I hope we do. No one was more disappointed than myself. The ultimate piece of legislation was the Heller Cassidy Graham bill. That was the ultimate piece. Tenth Amendment. Let's get it out of Washington, D.C. Let's drain this swamp from health care. Let's get it out of Washington, D.C. and send this money to the states. Let the governor, let the legislature determine in all 50 states what's best for their state. This one size fits all in Washington, D.C. is for the birds. Absolutely doesn't work. Let's get it to the states. Let them decide because what's good for Nevada isn't necessarily good for Florida. What's good for Florida isn't necessarily good for New York. Let's do this. Let's send it to them. And by getting the bureaucracy out of the way, there was a 49% increase in the health care funding for the state of Nevada. All right, so Heller also weighing in on what he thinks Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke will do with Nevada's National Monuments. At this point, uh, they've never reversed. You know, uh, no president has ever uh, reversed a, a monument. So they, they're trying to figure out what kind of authority that they have. They're not going to do anything here in the state of Nevada anymore. Uh, they may chip around the corners a little bit. They may allow for uh, a multiple use uh, in some of these monuments, but you won't see a shrinkage or, uh, or an elimination as a whole. Uh, they may try that uh, in Utah. They may try that on the East Coast, but they're not going to try it here in Nevada anytime soon. Okay, so Heller said uh, as well he's the only thing that stands in the way of Yucca Mountain being built because of the relationships he has with the administration. So let's take a look at his Senate race here. We'll pull up first uh, Dean Heller. He has embraced the accusation that he is the reason that health care repeal didn't go through. He also admitted this week that he voted for uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, and that came as a surprise to a lot of people because of the number of statements Heller made in 2015 and 2016 saying he didn't support Trump. He went so far as to say he was 99% sure he wouldn't vote for Trump. And he even implied that he might take the option of voting for none of these candidates, which is something you can only find on uh, Nevada's ba uh, ballot. So the revelation this week that he came out and he said he actually voted for Trump, I think that came as a surprise to a lot of people.